Hi, this is Gareth from Absolute Music, and today we're going to show you sidechain compression using Logic Pro 9. What we're using for this track is a collection of Logic's loops and Logic's onboard sounds, and all of the EQs, compressors, reverbs, limiters, etc., are all part of Logic's basic package. Okay, to start with, we have the kick the snare, the hi-hat, shaker, and the main synth. I've also set up a basic reverb using on this particular session bus one, um, sending it to Space Designer, which is set on a medium to large nice hall. Okay, the first thing we need to do is select which channels are actually going to be sent to an auxiliary. Across the auxiliary is going to be the compressor, which is going to be then triggered by our kick drum. In this case, I'm going to actually choose bus 28. It then creates a auxiliary return channel for us in Logic. And across that on the insert section, I'm going to choose a basic compressor. Okay, from my compressor menu, I'm going to pick a setting I made earlier. And we have an attack speed here of 8.5 milliseconds and release of 20 milliseconds. Uh, the ratio I've got set to 5 to 1 and my threshold is going to depend on how much signal I send from the kick drum into the compressor. The next thing I'm going to do is to create a bus in which to send the kick drum via. In this case I'm going to choose bus 9. Again Logic creates us our aux return channel. Uh, in this case, I'm not going to need that channel because I don't want to duplicate the signal of the kick drum. I literally want to have it sent to the compressor. So I'm going to highlight that. and I'm simply going to hit backspace in order to delete this. And delete anyway. Okay, the important thing with the bus here is to remember to put it to pre-fade. As we want the signal to be sent before it reaches the fade and not after. I'm then going to turn that bus up to approximately halfway. We then go back to our compressor and in the top right hand menu as you can see we have our side chain input which we're going to choose bus 9 as it's the one we've chosen to send the kick drum via. Okay, let's have a listen to how that sounds. Now, as you can see, every time the kick drum hits, the gain reduction actually reduces the overall volume of that particular bus in which I've got the snare, hi hat, shaker, and synth going to. The more extreme I bring down the threshold, the more extreme you're going to actually hear the effect. Hopefully this has been helpful for you, it's now just a case of practicing the technique. 